Uh, oh, I, I put this one in here. And uh, by the way, I always tip on those things. Anyway. You have to, You should tip. I you tip. don't have to, but you should. I tip. I tip. You got to be nice with it. I put the tip, Will. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, this one, I want to get your take on this one, Will. Uh, this is posting Cringetopia. Uh. And I really need to get your take because I felt a certain way. And I need to see if you feel what, the way that you feel. And okay. so what we have here is it's titled Lord Shushing Her Own Fans. Okay, go ahead and play it for us, Will. This is where the copyright comes in. Yeah, we, need the audio. we need the audio. You got to go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning. Can we get a replay on that one more time? Okay. Okay. Here we go. I am my mother's child. I love you till my breathing stops. I love you. Okay. Now explain to me what you saw in that clip, Will. So Lord is um is singing without music, <laughs> and um, as soon as she opens her mouth, um, the audience tries to sing along. Right. And she immediately shuts them down by physically kind of like forcing her hand um, down. And then the shush on the mouth. Yeah. And so she, she basically she <laughs> shuts them up. And she sings out of tune in a way. She said <laughs> shut up basically, right? Yeah. By signaled it. Can we get one more, please? I am my mother's Okay, so I'm not going to say anything. I've already watched this. You haven't watched this. Yeah. Well, I just did. What do you think about this? What do you, the whole the whole thing? What what are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> uh it's definitely it, yeah, it belongs in cringetopia, the Reddit. I think it's very cringy. I don't like it. What what is the what do you why do you feel that way? Um I think mainly because she's like the fact that she's singing and then gets interrupted. She kind of sings off key for a second. And when you're in that moment, you kind of want to, you know, sing your best. You're, people are so, watching you. So I don't care so much <laughs> about the actual singing. And, and also uh, the, um, for me, I'm mostly interested in the shush. By because, the way, because, it seems like it's very intimate. As well, it is. It's it's a small room. That's why she. There's no she, one cheering. Around. I've watched a longer clip, and she goes back and forth because I had to get to the. I what is going on, right? This doesn't seem like a typical performance like this. Uh -huh. And you're not gonna have the audio. You need to enable it every time. She goes back and forth from the microphone and she's really, I don't know, she's in a mental space. She's, she's, uh, she has an idea of what, it, how she wants things to be, including the audience. Uh-huh. I almost think that she should start over, but she barreled through it. <laughs> I'm more about the singing. You no, seem like never you're, mind the singing. You're into she the does other. an entire performance this way. Like this, that's, she's a little different, you know, that's her thing sure. to her. She's not, she didn't miss anything to her. She just want the audience to shut up. Uh -huh. So we need to address specifically the shushing of the audience. Um, like, what do you mean by that? She went like this. She shut them up. They wanted to sing mm -hmm. along and she said, shut up. Yeah. Listen, she's going through something. Like this performance or whatever, right? Like, no. I don't know. Like, like if, are you asking me like, what would I do? What would I do if I was audience? No, I'm saying to you, we're, we're talking about the concept of an artist here yeah. who has, who has presumably charged money yeah. for tickets to come there. Uh huh. And it's not. Uh, uh, usually the case that the artist wants to shut up their own fans. Normally, they really appreciate when the fans sing along. They'll even stick the microphone out. Sure, yeah. Like, like hey, it's kind of a, it's a part of the process, which is like an initiation. It's like a, 
an agreement of sorts that where the audience is showcasing that they love the song so much or know it so well mm -hmm. that they can sing along. This is typical. Now, yeah. oftentimes that's in a really big venue. It's not like this. It's not in an intimate setting where mm -hmm. you're you're kind of hearing the audience even more than her. Yes. Because it's a very small venue. Yes. And she's decided to sing off the microphone instead of into it. Uh-huh. Which would obviously elevate her own voice. But then at the same time, she's in this really emotional state, mm -hmm. seemingly, very affected by her song. But then still is in the has enough wherewithal to shush them, to shut them up. Mm -hmm. So the question is for you, Will, is whether or not it's justified to shut them up at your performance. Uh, my performance? If I was Lord? <laughs> Any 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 performance is this a thing that you see as being uh, that you would encourage? Yeah, man, I I can see both sides of it, um, but I'm kind of on Lord's side. I'm kind of on her side okay. mainly because, well, you want to watch her perform, right? You like I, I'm talking about like the general audience. If this one person wants to sing along, then like that kind of ruins it for maybe potentially everyone else because not everyone else is singing here, right? It's a lot. If you go watch the, the whole clip. Okay. Maybe I'm, I'm missing some information, but. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's enough where you're, you're like, oh, the audience is singing. Yeah. It's not one yeah. guy. But she seems like she's going through something like an emotional um, performance and you know, if I was the audience and she really wanted that, then, you know, I would shush, not sing. I, I don't find it disrespectful. So as a, as a, I don't go to many live music venues, Yeah. but as a person who has been, I presume, to sure. concerts yeah. in the past, is this a thing that you should know in advance? Like, the, to, the singing along seems so common that I would want to know what the etiquette and the rule was on this. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, in much the same way where cameras would be discouraged, let's say, mm -hmm. I would think that there could be some sort of a disclaimer. Or maybe it says it on your ticket or something mm. because that those people, it's got to be a little bit embarrassing. No, it's a little bit embarrassing. Yes. Some would say cringy. Oh, man. <laughs> like, they got shushed. <laughs> they got shushed in front of everybody. And they're, I mean, now granted, no one paid to hear them. I know that's the other argument. Nobody paid to hear you guys. Uh -huh. But it is so commonplace to sing along. Oh, yeah, for sure. That uh, I sometimes wonder about the social protocol in situations like this. Mm. Yeah what the rule is because i don't think it's a thing that everybody that we're clear on i don't think it's i know maybe you have well, to, she definitely made it clear she did <laughs> but it's like uh maybe you have to it's a moment per moment basis like maybe you can sure. tell when you're there uh -huh. but like let's say she was on a big stage in front of a big crowd and she just went shut up everybody shut up instead of the way she did it which was like mi miming shut up or shush like then, maybe your fans are like, "Whoa, easy. Uh -huh. We love you. Uh -huh. It's tough, man." Yeah, being in an intimate place like this, um, I think brings on like a certain level of uh, personal feelings. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, the audience. I I feel like they shouldn't be embarrassed. They just didn't know and. Um, yeah. You know what I would suggest? I think I found the perfect scenario. 
and I know this might be hard or it might kill the vibe a little bit, but if you're going to sing a song like this and move off the mic and it's meant to be a cappella and there's no music backing and it's a very intimate setting, before you start, you just say, hey guys, this next one I'm about to do, I really appreciate if you guys can remain quiet for this one. Yeah. If you do the disclaimer like that, then you can avoid the weird shush moment and yeah. I think people will respect it. Mm-hmm. Play one more time. <laughs> I am my mother's child. <laughs> yeah. There's a longer clip if you if you yeah. enjoy this and you'd love to see more of it. But it's communication, <laughs> right? It's a type performance and audience and performer. It's a type of communication. Mm -hmm. It's two way. And I think sometimes Anytime where you're lacking communication, there's these weird missed handshakes and the residual is cringe. Yes. But I enjoy watching this. This was pretty funny. Okay. I got you, Will. Yeah.